Above the skies of northeast and east El Paso tonight, a sight that was a little more than stunning. This is what one of our photographers, Ram Moreno, caught on video. One solitary light that appears to be falling in the sky. But that light suddenly breaks apart into two, then three separate lights. Those lights then just freeze in the air and begin to hover. Eventually, a fourth light can be seen. Then the lights appear to be hovering and then moving in a strange pattern. Then they all disappear. We received a lot of phone calls into our newsroom tonight from people in the northeast part of town and on the east side, all of them wanting to know what was going on. And the descriptions from everyone calling, basically the same. One caller thought a plane was falling. Another thought it was a meteorite. Others, though, said it looked like a UFO. Now, you want to get really creepy? Check this video out. Just two days ago, in the sky above Manhattan, people froze on the street there as they saw these three lights hovering in the middle of the day. And check this out. The three lights are close to each other, then spread out into this triangle pattern. Now, look at the patterns side by side. This from Manhattan and the other tonight in El Paso. I've got to tell you, they do look getting ready for a similar. contact with aliens from outer space. This is Maslin Offman. She's out of Malaysia. She will be planet Earth's first interstellar diplomat. She will be planet Earth's first interstellar diplomat. I don't know. Is this a goofy idea? Is this a serious idea? What the, what the world is the UN doing involved in this? Well, don't expect flying saucers to land on the White House lawn anytime soon, announcing, take me to your leader. It sounds like a goofball idea, but here's the rationale. Sometime later this year, maybe early next year. Okay, first I'll have to categorically deny that I was appointed or will be appointed the ambassador uh, for aliens. Uh, for aliens, um, the ambassador for United Nations uh, for aliens. Um, no, the committee is not discussing this very uh, this subject matter. But yes, I was in the UK to attend a meeting, which I can quote to you, uh, called Towards a Scientific and Societal Agenda on Extraterrestrial Life, which is why this whole thing came about, because um, the British press um, caught hold of the fact that I was going to be at this meeting. And I was on a panel. Declassified U.S. government documents and witness testimony from former or retired U.S. military personnel confirm beyond any doubt the reality of ongoing UFO incursions at nuclear weapons sites. Suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet outside in the universe. We'd forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries. The United Nations. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. Suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet. On March 24th, I, I received a call from one of my t uh, top side guards, the flight security controller, stating that they had been observing strange lights in the sky, making odd maneuvers, um, and wanted to report it. Uh, I thought it was kind of a strange report, but uh, I took it seriously. Uh, you have to understand we were protecting nuclear weapons, and uh, we, uh, the reports we generally got were very professional. Uh, at any rate, uh, I kind of dismissed the call. He called back uh, about five minutes later. This time he was screaming into the phone saying uh, they're uh, looking uh, at an object, uh, a red glowing object hovering just above our front gate. Right above us, there's a huge white thing, pulsating light above us, and I had to call them to make sure I wasn't seeing anything. Upon prodding, he told us it was shaped like a fat cigar. I think he said a pregnant cigar. White pulsating light between the pulsations, he saw red and, red and blue lights. Uh, it was silent because I prodded him saying, is, is it some form of helicopter? He said, no, it's very silent. 
we're talking to him for several minutes, and he says it's starting to move away along our access road. I believe these gentlemen believe that this planet is being visited by beings from another world who, for whatever reason, have taken an interest in the nuclear arms race which began at the end of World War II. I was it hadn't happened yet when I said, well, we heard UFOs were going to arrive over major U.S. cities uh, yesterday, but it didn't happen. And I think the fact that you have these military people and others saying when they would arrive, and now, it, now they arrive, this is clearly Project Blue Beam, and what Kissinger and Reagan and others talked about, an alien invasion unifying the world, they're definitely, part of it's been declassified, it goes back to the 60s and 70s, and in the 90s they declassified stuff, I even saw in Popular Mechanics about 3,000 foot holograms the Pentagon can project of the Easter Bunny, Jesus, Buddha, whatever they want, you know, David Icke, I mean, you know, they can project Superman up there, they can project Alex Jones, they can project, you know, George Bush, Kim Jong-il, they could do anything they wanted, and they admitted to unify the Earth against an outside alien threat. That's how they want to get their world government. Right. Well, to, to then see these, quote, military people come out and say, the aliens will arrive over major cities, including New York, on the 13th. And then we're going to show that ABC News article up on screen right now that I'm going to Zbigniew Brzezinski after that. Sorry, I flipped that on the guys. Uh, FAA unable to identify object flying uh, over New York City, and it looks like something out of uh, you know, Star Wars slash uh, the Fifth Element, uh, hovering with you know lights on it and everything. Well, we know they've got all sorts of hovercraft. We know the Germans had stuff that looked like flying saucers. That's where the original stories. We know they say the SR-71 Blackbird in service in '55, developed in '52. So they said it's the fastest plane in the world. You know, o over 50 years ago, total baloney. We know that they kept for 20 years secret the B-2 bomber. We know that DARPA had computers and internet in the 60s. We know all that, uh, and but to now have the Pentagon and the press club and all this promotion that, and all these TV shows and These gentlemen believe push. that this planet is being visited by beings from another world who, for whatever reason, have taken an interest in the nuclear arms race which began at the end of World War II. Regarding the missile shutdown incidents, my opinion, their opinion, is that whoever are aboard these craft are sending a signal to both Washington and Moscow, among others, that we are playing with fire, that the possession and threatened use of nuclear weapons potentially threatens the human race and the integrity of the planetary environment. political issues for the UN agenda. On that panel was um, a representative from the UK government himself, itself, uh, somebody from NASA, uh, somebody from uh, University of Nebraska who is a lawyer in uh, outer space law. That might arise, that could come under the, um, for, for discussion, in the United Nations. You know, the United Nations is, um, is a ready-made platform for any kind of uh, discussions that affect humanity as a whole. Um, and if it comes to extraterrestrial life, I've, so we've not talked about extraterrestrial intelligence only, but life as well, uh, the United Nations is one, is logically one of the many mechanisms and avenues for such discussions. We, we did not say that it is the only uh, mechanism. See, if even one in a trillion of the one in a trillion stars um, might uh, host life. And when I mean life, it's not people like you and I, but uh, it could just be bacteria. When, we when we're talking about life in this meeting, we're not talking about green aliens, okay? Sometimes this is the, the, uh, uh, the connotation of when we say extraterrestrial life, it, all, it always must be green aliens with large, lovely eyes. But no, we're talking about bacteria because they're the most likely um, form of life.